Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about half past three on Monday the 20th of March. Oops. Uh, I spent the weekend, well I spent Thursday evening and most of Friday in hospital because um, I have an infection. It is now healing, it's looking a lot better but uh, I'm still on antibiotics until Friday. Um, I'm currently reading Punch Bag by Robert Llewellyn which is basically... Robert Llewellyn played Crichton in Red Dwarf, which is one of my favourite TV shows. And this book is basically about like these female self-defence classes where they beat people up. And this guy who's a bouncer kind of gets hired to be the punch bag of the title. I'm only, what, 66 pages in of about 400, so it's still early going so far. But I am rather enjoying it at the moment. And I will update you guys some more later on. That hurts. I should stop doing that. Dane reads... Hello everybody, it is um, 25 past 6 on a Tuesday the 21st of March. I'm still reading Punch Bag by Robert Llewellyn, I'm just over halfway through now. It's pretty good, probably going to be a 3.5 out of 5 but we will see how it gets on. Um, I have been tabbing bits out to do a review as well. Um, I've been doing a little bit of housework today, uh, did some admin as well, so I went to the post office, went to the doctors, went to the pharmacy. Um, my volcano on my leg still seems to be slowly but surely healing. I have an appointment next Tuesday to uh, review it, see if I need more antibiotics. Next Wednesday I'm getting a tattoo as well, of uh, it's a biggie tattoo basically, so very excited for that. Uh, Shay is coming over later, she's got pottery until 9pm and then I'm going to go and pick her up from the art centre, bring her back here. Um, I think she wants to do some art, we'll probably play a bit of Wii, have a bit of a snuggle, maybe watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia, we'll see how it goes. Um, and that's about all I've got for you. Uh, for the rest of this evening I'm kind of up to date with my work now, so um, I'm going to make some marshmallow rice crispy squares, I'm going to prepare some butter bowls for dinner, um, and I need a shower as well. Other than that, I'm going to be doing a bit of filming and editing, so that's what I'm currently doing right now. Yo, 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 Wagwan, my homeboys and homegirls out there. Big up, big up. Okay, I'll leave you alone. It is uh, 10 to 10 on uh, Wednesday, the 22nd of March. Um, I'm still reading Punch Bag by Robert Llewellyn. It's still pretty good. Very, like, I'm about not very many pages from the end now. After that, I think I'm going to read The Fight Journal, poems by John W. Evans. So we will see. Uh, we played some Wii yesterday. It was good, wasn't it, Shay? Mm -hmm. And then we went into town early, well we slept late as we always do, and then we went into town earlier, uh, Shay got some clay, I got her a bubble tea because I'm the best boyfriend ever, and um, yeah, we got some food, we've just been chilling, we played some Wii yesterday, we've been hanging out with Biggie a little bit today, Shay's currently playing The Sims in her little den on the sofa, uh, I have an interview in 10 minutes um, with somebody for the radio show, so I'm going to be doing that. A little bit of filming and editing and a bit more work um, and then getting to bed about midnight and then maybe I can convince Shay to give me a massage. It's a shame it's so blurry. You can't see her face. Hang on, here we go. Why are you hiding your face? I'm not. This is how I always sit. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I don't have any other updates for you really, I don't think. It's, it's exciting exciting times today. The other thing I wanted to mention, I have a new book coming out called Oceanus which is uh, poetry, experimental poetry about the Titanic and I've had all my illustrations done and the guy is, uh, who's doing my cover design has pretty much finalised that so he's going to finish that off for me tomorrow. I'm going to get my test versions sent out to me. Uh, I've formatted the ebook ready to go, paperbacks ready to go except for like the cover and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a bigger cover reveal and announcement and stuff for that soon and then hopefully getting that out in April to coincide with the 111th anniversary of the Titanic hitting the iceberg. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. It's me, it's your boy. It's uh, 22.10 on Thursday the 23rd of March. More productivity and stuff. So Shay, Shay, Shay stayed over last night and we slept in. Uh, she had it back this afternoon. We're talking about hopefully doing like a trial run of, of living together. So you may see a lot more of her in these vlogs soon. We will see how that goes. Um, very exciting stuff. I'm still reading Punch Bag by Robert Llewellyn. It's still pretty good. I'm very close to the end now. I'm like 20 pages away. So then I'm going to read The Fight Journal, poems by John W. Evans. Um, didn't quite get all my filming done last night. So I want to try and do a little bit more filming today. I've got two reviews to do. Um, no, three reviews to do. And then I've got my cover reveal and launch videos to do for Oceanus, my new poetry collection, which is coming soon. So that is where I am at. And then lots of editing, obviously. Oh. Hello, everybody. It is currently about 20 to 7 on Friday, the 24th of March. Oh, my TikTok's going off. 
Shay and Biggie are over here. Hi. Hi. Hi, Biggie. Oh, I've told the people that you're moving in with me. Did you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yes. I always oh, finished reading that um, Robert Llewellyn book. That was like 3.5 out of 5, which it was always going to be. I read the Fight Journal by that guy. Uh, could, Shay, could you pass me that book over there, please? Thank you. By Poems by John W. Evans. This is probably like a 3 out of 5. Um, not really my kind of poetry. Plus, it was all about him getting divorced. And he just came off a bit like a wet blanket, to be honest. He was just compl complaining about his ex-wife. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't know you. I don't know your ex-wife. I don't care. Um, maybe that shows a lack of empathy on my part. Who knows? But anyway, 3 out of 5. Um, I'm currently reading... Um, oh, fuck. Where is it? I put it down here somewhere. Dude? Yeah. It's behind me. I'm currently reading, oh shit, June House of Trades Volume 2 by Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson, Dev Pramanik and Alex Guimares. Um, I'm about halfway through, it's pretty good. It's bringing together issues 5, 6, 7 and 8 from the June comic book series, The House of Trades, which is like the prequel. Pretty well done, I'm enjoying it. On course for like a 4 out of 5, I should finish it today. And then I haven't picked out my next book, but I might read uh, Rattle, which is a literary magazine. They, they're the guys who sent me this this uh, little poetry chat book and um, yeah I entered the competition that they're running a writing competition so they sent me and they go every quarter I get their chat their, a free chat book and then their literary magazine for like a year or whatever so I'm gonna read the issue of that that's where I'm at I've got two calls coming up later on today so I will be doing those soon and I think that is it. I've added some new little baskets in our bedroom. Is there anything new? I made stir fry, it was nice. It is, what is it? It is quarter to nine on Saturday the 25th of March. Still just keeping on, keeping on. So I finished the fight journal by John W. Evans. That was three out of five. I read Rattle issue 79, poetry. Uh, well, it's like a literary magazine full of poetry. Slightly better, that was like a 3.5 out of five. And I, oh, and I read um, June House of Trades Volume 2 as well by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Four out of five, that was good. Looking forward to the fifth edition of that. I'm now currently reading um, The Pirate Ship of Oz. No, Pirates in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is Wizard of Oz book number 25. Literally only just started it, so I don't have a huge amount to tell, for you, tell to you guys, but it's so far shaping up to be a lot more of the same. Usual cast of characters, usual weird ways of getting to Oz, all of that shit. Uh, Shay is over, she thought she was going to have to work tonight, but she didn't, so now she's sitting there and she's reading, what are you reading, Bay's End by Edward Lawn, uh, here on Booktube, although he's no longer here, but yes, so I'm going to read that after she reads that. I don't know what I'm going to read next, I might even finally pick up The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, which I got from Shay. Have you read that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it good? I can't remember. Okay, well, it's a popular Booktube one, so um... we, we will see. Um, yeah, so I'll probably read that next. Just doing a bit of filming, a bit of editing now. Um, you know, you know how it is, you know how it is. Um, later on we're going to have corn rawsoms, which are like dinosaur shapes. Um, with some veggies, some mashed potato, with some homegrown potatoes. And it's going to be delicious. And Biggie is somewhere. Where is he? On the floor in your coat. Yeah, you can just about see him. Oh, and I fell off the bed earlier and damaged my knee. So that's the latest news. I think that's about it. There's nothing else really to report, is there? We played some Hasbro Family Game Night on the Wii earlier. Shay won at Cluedo. Yeah, I won. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. So, yeah. Yo, it is um, 20 past 9 on Sunday the 26th of March. Just chilling with Shay. Shay, she's over there watching TikTok. Say hi, Shay. Hi. Hi. Um, what are you up to? Just TikTok. Just had some food. I made some food. Hash browns. Yeah, she liked it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, yay! Well, we had delicious food. We've had a lot of delicious food this weekend, to be honest. Um, yeah, played some Wii. Shay, Shay got ragey because Monopoly cheated, didn't it? Yeah, she's nodding. Um, maybe some Posca art later, if she fancies it. She played with some Rubik's Cube earlier. Um, I've been doing the usual shit. Uh, cover reveal tomorrow. Oh, me, TikTok. Cover, re cover reveal tomorrow for Oceanus, so I have the last few bits of that to finish setting up this evening. I'm still reading Pirates in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. I'm about probably two thirds, three quarters of the way through now. It's I, it's just regular Oz shit. And then after that, I'm probably going to read The Knife of Let Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, unless Shay forces me to read Bay's End by Edward Lorne, which might happen, because um, she read that in one day yesterday. And 
more Edward Lawn, so we're going to see what can we can do about that. We'll get Shay a new Edward Lawn, but uh, this is usually the point at which I would end the vlog because it's the end of the week, but I haven't filmed too much this week, so we're going to keep going and have a mega vlog next week. Um, and that's about all I've got for you. I'm just going to go and film some tabs of Wizard of Oz then do a quick little cheeky bit of editing and then probably some client work. Fun times. Hello everybody, it is um, 22.11 on Monday the 27th of March. I had two calls today, I was supposed to have three but the last one got rescheduled. Didn't get a huge amount of sleep to be honest but I have done lots of reading so I finished Pirates in Oz by uh, Ruth Pomley Thompson. Which was like a 3 out of 5, it was just okay, but then that's kind of what I knew it was going to be. Um, I picked up The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, but I got like 15 pages into it. And I don't know, man, the, the guy's writing style just really doesn't gel with me. I didn't like a monster cause either, so I, uh, I DNF'd that bad boy. And now I'm reading Bay's End by Edward Lawn. I'm about halfway through, and it is very good. I can see why Shay enjoyed it. I'll be doing a full review of it soon. So far it's on course for like a 4 out of 5, a pretty strong one. And I'm also enjoying um, spotting all of the Stephen King references in it as well. Um, just doing a little bit of filming now, it's been mostly a productive day. Tomorrow I'll go to the doctors, Wednesday I'm getting a new tattoo. Um, and I've just invoiced the client, which is nice, I can almost afford to pay my rent. <laughs> which is good because it's rent day very soon. So um, yes, I will, I will go off and do some more work and stuff in a little bit. And maybe watch some Netflix, we'll see. I'm also right at the end of watching uh, Death Note. I'm on like episode 34 or 37 or something. Um, so yes, looking forward to finishing that. Yo, it's me. It is 9.45pm um, on Tuesday the 28th of March. Uh, I had one of my calls earlier, another one has been rescheduled for tomorrow. Went to the doctors earlier, I had to get up early for that so I was super tired so then I had a nap. But I did finish reading Bay's End by Edward Lawn. Strong 4 out of 5, maybe even a 4.5. Probably top books of the quarter, we will see. And I'm now reading, uh, what's it called, Brother Brother Nature by Robert Llewellyn. Uh, about a guy getting a computer chip in his arm. That's as far as I've got. I've literally just started it. That's like how far in I am. I'm getting my new tattoo tomorrow, so I'll show you that when that's done. Otherwise, I'm just going to do a little quick bit of filming now. And then, um, quick bit of filming and editing, and then I'm going to get into bed. Hopefully get an early night. Yo, hello, it is me. It is um, 10 past 8 on Wednesday the 29th of March. I'm very tired. I didn't sleep too well last night. Um, and then I had to be up early-ish to go get my tattoo today. It is here, but you can't really see it. But um, I will show you when the when the label is off, uh, when the wrapping is off tomorrow. But it looks very cool. My biggie tattoo, very happy with that. Um, other than that, just been cracking on and working. I've got some food just finished, so in a second I'm going to eat that and then I'm going to get into bed and watch some more of American Vandal, which has been quite good. Um, I am currently reading um, Brother Nature by Robert Llewellyn. It's okay. It's on course like a week 3.5 out of 5. So far, this is my third of his books now and each of them has just been like okay. Um, but I am a big fan of Red Dwarf and he was one of the actors in that, so, you know, got, got to handle it for that, got to like him for that. I also checked out the charity shops earlier when I was in Marlow. Um, I thought I was early for, uh, for my appointment, but they thought, basically I thought I had to get there at half eleven and they thought it was eleven. Um, so I went around the charity shops when I could have been getting a tattoo done, but I picked up some books anyway, so I've hauled those. Done all my editing for today. All is good. Um, uh, Shay is getting her hair done right now as well. So, oh yeah, I got her a cute little thing. It's like a heart that you fill with sand. Very cute. Anyway, yo, what up? It's me. It is 5:30 p.m. on Thursday, the 30th of March. Um, I slept for like 18 hours. I was super tired because I didn't sleep well the night before. I'm just getting back to it now. Just cracking on with productivity and stuff. I'm still reading um, Brother Nature, which I don't know where it's gone. Actually, it must be around here somewhere. Um, but yes, I'm still reading that. It's still just okay. Um, next, I'm probably going to read Matilda's How to Be Brave by Roald Dahl. I also have a whole stack of books over there on the sofa. Yes. I want a, a job lot of science fiction books on eBay, like classic sci-fi. So I need to haul those in a minute. Photograph the ones I'm not going to keep, and those are going to go on my eBay store. So that's my next job. But there's a bunch of Arthur C. Clarke in there, plus a new Frank Herbert I haven't read. And the moment you've all been waiting for, here is the biggie tattoo. So I got that uh, yesterday, so obviously it's still healing, but a lot of the swelling's gone down, a lot of the white showing up a little bit more now, and it does this look. So I'm tempted to get uh, like a ball of twine or something, so it's like he's trying to catch it when I do that. So that is where I'm at, and that is where I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna go and do a bit of editing now. I'll have a Q&A later as well at uh, seven, which I may or may not be doing alone, but it's okay, because 
we've been struggling for like topics to cover recently so um yeah I'm, i've got a little bit about upwork i'm going to talk about to begin with and then if nobody has any questions i'm just going to go on quora and find questions on quora so we will see Hello, it is Friday the 31st of March at 28 minutes past 7. Just a quick update today, I'm still reading Brother Nature by Robert Llewellyn. Uh, I was up late last night, I couldn't sleep, so I was just being productive, lying in bed watching American Vandal. Very good series. Took me about five episodes to realise it was a mockumentary and not a real documentary, but hey ho. Um, so yes, that's what I've been up to. Uh, I'm near the end of Brother Nature. And then I'll start uh, Matilda's How To Be Brave by Roald Dahl. Um, but yes, I want to get through my filming quickly, update y'all, because then I'm going to Shays later on. Um, I said I'd try and get there in like an hour and a half or so. So I'm just finishing off some work and shit before then, keeping the house tidy. Going to stay at Shays tonight, and then tomorrow she's going to come here to come and see Biggie. So that's where I'm at. Yo, oh, that's creaky. That's a creaky-ass chair. Everyone in... Um, the client that I have, they always say it sounds like a goose. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop doing that because it looks very wrong. Uh, I'm still reading uh, Brother Nature by Robert Llewellyn. I have about 50, 60 pages left to go now. Uh, I was at Shay's last night, which was nice. We watched uh, The Exorcism of Karen Walker, which was fucking terrible. And I called the twist at the end as well. So that was kind of funny. The twist. It's a very obvious twist. Um, quite a lot of bad acting in it as well. Not a very good movie whatsoever. I wouldn't recommend watching it unless, like me and Shay, when we were watching it, sorry, Shay and I, we were saying that, um, like, if either of us had been watching it by ourselves, we would have turned it off. But because we were watching it together and poking fun at it, it was, it was all right. Plus, it was only 80 odd minutes. It's about five past three on Saturday, the 1st of April. Shay is in Bristol at the moment. She's gone to pick her nan up because they're going to uh, Lanzarote next week. I'm going to Tamworth next week to see my mum as well. Um, but yeah, when Shay comes back, she's coming over here and we will play some Wii games and stuff. I'm going to make uh, hash browns and vegan burgers, which would be nice. And that's it. I'm just doing a bit of work, a bit of editing. I'll probably get in bed in a little bit and watch some Netflix and shit and uh, do some work on my laptop. But we'll see. Alrighty, so it is uh, 22 11 on Sunday the 2nd of April. Um, I finished reading that Robert Llewellyn book, which was like probably a 3 out of 5. I read uh, Matilda's How to Be Brave by Roald Dahl, 3.5 out of 5, very cute, fun for kids. And I've just started reading Slaughterhouse 5 by Kurt Vonnegut, which I've somehow never read either this or Breakfast of Champions, which I now have up there, which I picked up from the charity shops the other day. Um, despite the fact I've read about a half dozen Vonnegut's, I've never read his most popular ones for whatever reason. But yes, I'm enjoying Slaughterhouse 5 so far. All about the bombing of Dresden is very anti-war, and that is my jam. So, uh, so that's where I'm at. Um, uh, Shay's back at hers now. She's going to Lanzarote tomorrow. I am going to visit my mum on Wednesday. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow plus three calls. So, oh, but hopefully I'll at least get paid by somebody. I'm just doing a little bit of filming catch up now and then I'm gonna go through to the bed uh, and hopefully watch the rest of American Vandal. And that seems like a good place to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.